Welcome back to the Terry Mitchell Show. I'm now joined by assistant coach Kara Consuegra. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. It seems like just yesterday we were in these seats talking about your first few seasons here at Marquette and now you're in your sixth season. Talk about how you've grown as a coach. Well, I can't believe I've been here so long. You know, I took this job as my first job and I thought, oh, I'll just be there a couple years and then see what takes me, you know, where I, where I go next. But I just enjoyed my experience at Marquette so much. I've enjoyed working for Terry Mitchell. And, you know, I think I've grown every year, which is part of why I've stayed here. I mean, Terry's done a great job as a boss of increasing responsibilities for me, allowing me to um, get experience in different areas. And as a result, I think I've grown tremendously X and O wise, scouting wise, and certainly as a recruiter. Now, one of your primary roles is the guard coach. You mm -hmm. work with Tatiana McMorris, Angel Robinson, and also Lawrence Thomas Johnson. Mm -hmm. Talk about your day-to-day -day interaction with them, and what do you usually focus on? You know, we have a great relationship, the three of us. Uh, I've tremendously enjoyed um, coaching them. They're great kids, they're great people, and our relationship has grown a ton over this year. We spend a lot of extra time together. We watch a lot of film. Um, I set goals for them. Actually, that's really not correct. They kind of set their own goals. I kind of guide them to set goals for them throughout our kind of seven game seasons that we're, we have going on. Terry's probably talked to you about mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. So we'll take the, our seven days, and not only is that a team goal, but individual goals for their, them to do things statistically or in the classroom or as extra work. And I think that's done a really good, good thing for them to just help them stay focused on what is important to them this season. Um, you know, daily, you know, I see them every day on the court. I spend a lot of my time talking to them. Of course, not if I have the scout, I'll be more focused on that. But just giving them in individual focus all the time and trying to correct them and encourage them at the same time. Well, how have you seen the ladies grow over their, their years here? We talked a little bit to Tatiana, and she was talking about how she's just grown her confidence as mm -hmm. well as shooting. Mm -hmm. But, you know, where have you seen the ladies grow the most? Um, that's a good question. I would say they've all grown differently. I would agree with Tati that her confidence, especially this season, has taken a huge step. Um, she was always kind of a confident kid on the outside, but I'm not sure she always had that confidence on the inside. And this season, she has really bought into what we need her to be, and she's just getting better and better, and I, I couldn't be more proud of her. Angel has grown, I think she's really matured as a point guard this year. And that was our biggest goal with her from last year to this year. She was always a good player. She was always a good scorer. But as a point guard, I didn't always feel like she had total control of the game. And that's something that we worked on a ton in the off season. And um, I, I think that she's just taken great steps to be better at that. And, and Lauren, you know, I'm kind of disappointed I didn't get to coach her four years. You know, it's only two and she's going to be gone. But I think she has also taken a huge step maturity wise. Uh, she's grown up a lot this year. She knows what we want from her. She knows how she can contribute to us, and she's been a really positive influence on this team, which has been tremendous. Now, another role that you have, you mentioned, is recruiting. Mm -hmm. For those young ladies out there maybe hoping to be recruited one day by, say, Marquette University, what do you look for in a great student athlete? Well, um, it's a combination of things. Um, certainly, you know, on the court first, you know, we need to know that there could be a contributor in the Big East Conference. You know, since we've gone in the Big East five years ago, our recruiting has changed a little bit and we're looking for more athletic players, players that can make an impact and help us not just be in this conference, but be a top four team in this conference every year. Um, so obviously we're looking for athleticism, we're looking for skill, okay, do they have a specific skill set, are they a great shooter, are they a great ball handler? Um, can they run because we like to play a more fast-paced game than we have in years past. Off the court, we're looking for tremendous kids, people that do well in the classroom. They don't have to be perfect students, but students that want to be there, that, that getting a degree is important to them because we have all the academic services here at Marquette that we can help them accomplish that as long as that's something that they want. Uh, talk about the, how the rules have changed. When I was playing, there wasn't a whole lot of <laughs> emphasis on AAU basketball. It was more high school into college. Have there been rules changed? Does it make your recruiting job that much hard? Difficult? The rules change, and they change every year now. Yeah. Um, and there's a bunch of, I mean, geez, there's so many rules <laughs> that we need to follow. And, you know, we just do our best to, to recruit with integrity. Um, we have a rule now, we're in our scholastic recruiting period, so we go out to high school games, we're allowed to be out 100 days, which to a lot of people sounds like a lot, but it's really not. If you take our four coaches that recruit, break that down to only 25 days each, 
they go pretty oh, quickly. It's total 100. Okay. Yeah, yeah, 100 for all four of okay. us. And Terry usually gets out more than that 25, so we have to kind of figure out, okay, who's going to have less days to give her more. Um, you know, and then there's you can't you can talk to only the high school coaches. Um, you can talk to the AU coaches on the phone right now, but you can't talk to anybody in the gym, which it can also be kind of awkward because parents will come up to you and want to <laughs> talk to you. Sometimes a player will come up wanting to talk to you and you have to say, I can't talk to you. <laughs> but if you want to call me sometime, no, I'm just kidding. But uh, it's, um, you know, but it's for the integrity of the game. It's for people so they'll recruit kids the right way, not put too much pressure on the players, allow them to be students, which they need to be first right. and basketball players second. Well, you've obviously done an outstanding job of recruiting Marquette with some of the best athletes in the Big East. So good luck to you, you, and we'll see you again soon. Okay. Thanks, Krita.